Was, did I look at this one? Yeah, I already saw that one. All right, let's go to four. White House remains empty. Where is our president? For more than half a year, the west wing of the America's most famous residence has remained shrouded in near complete darkness. A skeleton crew of manual laborers remain on staff to maintain their property, but nobody has lived or worked politically there for several months. And even though the White House press corps was unofficially and unceremoniously disbanded around the same time, the media has remained steadfast in answering the most important question, where is our president? At first, the assumption was that the entirety of the United States government had moved operations to Raven Rock, the military operations center located in the mountainous region of Pennsylvania. Wait a second, Raven Rock wasn't in Pennsylvania, it was in fucking Washington, D.C. What the, unless there's another Raven Rock. Unless that one was just called Raven Rock, but it wasn't the official Raven Rock from Pennsylvania. Maybe that's it, I don't know. Uh, region of Pennsylvania is just a few miles northeast of the presidential retreat in Camp David, Maryland. But further investigation have revealed that neither the president nor his cabinet have been to the Raven Rock complex in over a year. So if not Raven Rock, then where? Thanks to an extensive and exhaustive uh, investigation, the Boston Bugle has uncovered the answer. And our leaders will likely consider it as a strange as, as it is shocking. The president has been leading our country from a Poseidon Energy oil rig just off the coast of San Francisco. It is certainly an odd choice for the presidential command center, or is it? Not as much as it may seem as our investigation discovered. Thanks to the testimony of highly placed anonymous source, the Boston Bugle has learned that their official destination for, of the oil rig is actually control station enclave, giving credence to the long-running rumors of a secret militarized shadow government known as the enclave that would take control of the United States in the event of a nuclear conflagration. conflagration. Oh, shit! Yeah, President Eden. Check that out. So President Eden has been around for over 200 years as a fucking robot. And fucking, what's his face? The Enclave asshole officer who, sh who forced our father in Fallout 3 to kill himself. This is all intersecting. I love it. It's, it feels like a true sequel to the Fallout universe. I, I love it. Fallout New Vegas was just a side story or like a, uh, a what-if scenario if there was another area and in uh, the Mojave Desert, the, the Mojave, wait, no, in yeah, the Mojave Desert, yeah. And so the mystery of the missing president has finally been solved, but in doing so, has the Boston Bugle has also, also uncovered evidence that the end of the world is in a form of total economic war is at hand. Uh, sadly, the president's silence seems to peak volumes, of course. He doesn't give a shit about the people. He's an asshole. <laughs> Boston Henry K first World Series win since 1918. Oh my God! As every pre as, as every resident of Boston is painfully aware, it has been 159 years since this city has re re reveled in the joy of a World Series victory, whether from strikeout error in the outfield or ball that rolls in disastrously through the infield legs. The feat has remained our constant unwelcome companion, but not for long. In what has been one of the most exciting World Series races in decades, Boston has achieved three game. Two games to none lead over the unbeatable Texas favorite, ba battling or uh, batting favorite. No, batting, fielding, and pitching have all aligned thanks largely to the direction of the legendary coach Dus Dusty Wilder, giving this year's team the best chance they have for victory in well forever. <laughs> Even more encouraging the game than Game Four being played here in Boston is the fact that the team has yet to utilize their star pitcher Matt the Missile Mur Murtaugh with him on the mound. Some are actually predicting not only a serious shouting win, but a no-hitter to boot. Yes, for years the concession stands of Boston has fed baseball fans a steady diet of beer, hot dogs, peanuts, bitter and bitter defeat. But on Saturday, October 23rd, 2077, the only thing that could snatch away victory is an act of God, or some obs obscene calamity of man. Uh-oh. Tomorrow, my friends, the unthinkable will finally come to pass, and life in Boston will never be the same again. <laughs> Wait a second, did the bombs fall in 2077? I wonder if this is... Oh, I wonder. What, did the bombs fall before Boston won the World Series? Oh my god, that will be fucked up. <laughs> so that's actually... that's That ending line is perfect. Tomorrow, the unthinkable will come to pass, and life in Boston will never be the same again. <clears throat> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Boston f Boston never got a chance to win the World Series. The bombs fell in probably October 24, 2077. Wow, man. That's fucking crazy. It's fucking sweet. But you, you noticed that, right? Wait. You noticed what it said, right? It said 159 years. 
And that was 2077, so they're talking about, yeah, since 1918, yeah. That's kind of bizarre. It's not taking any facts from the real world at all. Boston won the World Series in, in 2004. And since then, I think they won another World Series after that. I think it was 2006, I think. I could be mistaken. Afterwards, they have not won a fucking championship since. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, that was a pretty nice read. We read a whole bunch of lore involving the Boston Bugle. It's fucking sweet. So, we re we figured out that the president's gone AWOL with his cabinet office. And we also likely figured out that that was probably the same president from Fallout 3, President John Eden. <clears throat> what the hell is this? Oh, vault tech box. I don't want a fucking... I don't want to talk. Get this shit out of here. Yeah, I'm surprised that Phil is not reading all these out completely. Like, oh, I don't care about this. Oh, dude, it's the lore of the game. How can you not care about something so important as that? Completely ridiculous. She should be coming up here, I think, right? It's like, don't leave me behind, bitch. <laughs> That's exactly what she's saying. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have no idea why he doesn't really care about the lore of this game. It's kind of pissing me off. He only cares about killing things. <clears throat> <clears throat> At least in my opinion, he does. Alright, so that's pretty much it. We finished this Boston thing. We also finished the other thing involving Blackbird. Now we get to talk to both of them. We'll probably get a new fucking quest from... What's-his-face? The drummer boy. Oh, speak to fucking Desdemona. She wants to talk to you. Of course. Let me speak to her. Okay. <laughs> I have to admit, I actually, I'm actually enjoying the game more and more when I'm not playing the storyline. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I'm, I'm just enjoying wandering around, killing things, doing random stuff, killing raiders. I mean, I, I, I know we have to go do something with the Institute, and I actually did heard a spoiler, which kind of fucked me up, but um, I, I kind of already figured this already, because I talked about this in another video, that this is, this is technically a sequel to Fallout 3. It's without a doubt a sequel to Fallout 3, and why most people don't like it, because they fucking got a hard-on for New Vegas. Um, you actually do encounter Dr. Madison Lee from Fallout 3, the person who helped... Um, uh, uh, the lone wanderer's father, you know. What the hell? A super moon? Oh, I thought I saw something else. I thought I saw like a fucking uh, robot or something. Yeah, so you find Dr. Madison Lee here, and you can convince her to fucking leave the institute. Remember? What the fuck? A Yao Why? A shaggy? W oh my god. Fuck this shit. No. Why is it a Yao Why in the middle of nowhere? So wait a second, he's weak to energy weapons, of course. Uh, so this is not going to help me at all. I, I need something a little more stopping power. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe this? God, I need to fucking. It's, it's, it's about time I, uh. <clears throat> medify myself. This is gonna be fucking bad. I know. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. Orange Mentats. 10% accuracy in vats. Really? Uh. I think I'll pass on that. Medics. Of course. Jet. Let's get some, um. Buff out, I guess. Do I even have buff out? I have a buff jet. Yes!
that was a complete cluster of failure right there. Oh my god. I almost fucking got wrecked, dude. You saw that? Even after buffing myself, he took out like a third of my health. It's fucking bullshit. It's complete horse shit right now. Let's go back to Pikmin's Gallery. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, holy shit. Um, what I might do after this, I might actually do one of the main quest lines. I know this is like part, like what, 47 or something? And I haven't done like, no, part what, 78 maybe? Oh wait, I don't know if it's part 78. It could be part 76 or something like that, I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn, my throat is like. I feel like there's something stuck in there, even though there shouldn't be. I didn't eat anything. <clears throat> Good thing I fucking auto uh, quick save there. I would have been fucking wrecked. I fucking wrecked that guy. That bear had no chance at all to kill me. You, uh, never mind. <laughs> I must have ran so fast ahead of her that she just teleported. She used instant transmission <laughs> from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm still waiting for this place to be destroyed. I don't know why. I have like a, a fear of this happening. Yep, here's Trouble Boy. Or not? Yep. Talk to Desdemona. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Oh, of course, it's Pam. You really walked the Freedom Trail? By yourself? Why are you so surprised? The world's a dangerous place for anyone in my way. <laughs> Up top, you gotta be careful. You never know when you're being watched. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Uh huh. <clears throat> hey. The latest atmospheric reading from the new Mila is still inconclusive. But we'll catch the Institute. Got a lead on another vantage spot. If you got the time. Or we could just do some shopping. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got it. Uh-huh. Let me see. Did he give me any new stuff that I don't remember putting in my inventory? Uh... No, but <clears throat> you can take this. Take the short hunting rifle, take the combat rifle, take the pipe revolver. He doesn't even have a lot of money. I'm actually kind of annoyed about this. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> now for this. Metal chest piece, get that shit away. Uh, sturdier chest piece for that. Really? I have nothing else. I have five cap, five thousand caps now. This fucking badass. Uh, let me see. Can I like? Well, oh wow, this is a fucking. <clears throat> no, never mind. I thought that was something else. luck huh I don't think this is gonna work though I mean I'll buy it just in case but this is Christmas set queen dress what the fuck <coughs> surveyor's outfit I think I already picked that one right charisma luck I'll buy this one up. <coughs> Shipment of lead, wow. That's a lot of lead. Let's see here. Ammo. 
What do I desperately need right now? Um, three or eight rounds, I guess I can use. I don't know if even a scabber would take that. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. As I thought, it completely removes this. I think. <clears throat> Wait, it, it removes the the chest plate and the arms and legs? No. Whatever. How, how's my weight doing? Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, yeah, that's because of that. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I'm quite busy. <sighs> you say you're quite busy, but I have something for you. The survivor from Augusta, Blackbird, is dead. I didn't find any evidence of where the scent is. As I expected. Well, at least you weren't hurt. Perhaps Desdemona will listen to me next time. Hopefully this will help you in your future missions. Now, if you don't mind... Okay, that's it? That's it. Bottle caps, combat shotgun, and recompensate a hardened automatic? Oh. Okay, this is a completely different shotgun that I just got. Is it any good? Are you injured? Shut up. I, I actually, I kind of am, but that's actually not the point. Let's see. What the hell? Look at this. Compare. Wait, hold on a second. I'm gonna compare this right now. Fire rates up. Accuracy's up. Range is not up. It's actually down. Damage is incredibly up. Ooh. So is this weight. Oh man, this is terrible. Oh, I'll hold on to it though. I might be able to do something with it. Oh, what does Pam want? Ugh. Greetings. Data model indicates a 93% chance of another DIA cache being available Sweet. for exploitation. I can recover it. Location of cash being transmitted to your pip boy. Conversation terminated. Jackpot Hub 360. Dude, the last time I got the fucking DIA cash? What? Oh, I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. Well, at least not soon. Uh, the last time I got that, what Tom, Tinker Tom had some amazing fucking stuff. Like, insane good stuff. <clears throat> I'm actually looking forward to doing this quest as well, but I actually want to switch over and maybe try to do one of the main quest lines for now. Just to get that going a little bit, then I can deviate and do like like do like do the main quest like right now, and then switch over and do like something else later. <clears throat> because, as you guys know, I haven't really done that at all. I have been skipping out on it because I don't really care about it all that much. <clears throat> Not to say I don't think the story is shit, it's just that, you know... Fallout games is all about, like, everything else. At least that's my opinion. That's right, I'm already fucked up with <clears throat> agility lost. Let me use this way. I'm, go I'm gonna have to find some way to create that. What the hell? Wait, you know what? I leveled up, right? Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Intelligence, right? Let me see. Anything with medic? Hmm. No, it's not. I'm looking for something you can create with the with the workbench. There's another workbench you can do with uh, medicine. Blacksmith. That's not really what I'm looking for. What the hell is it? I thought it was here somewhere. Is it down here, maybe? Four-leaf clover, kung fu. 
You could learn to split the atom and command the radiation weapons to 50% more damage. Using cores last 20% more. No, that's not. No, that's also not what I want. Huh, I need a in seven endurance for this. Ready right resistance science I'm gonna have to free I thought there was no I thought there was something else involving uh creating chems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find that out before we do anything else. <clears throat> Oh, whoops. I've been playing for a decent bit. Like, I think six hours, I think. I started at like 7.30, and it's about 12.30, so that's like... Oh, uh, okay, okay, well, it's five hours. It's not six... It's not six hours. It's like five hours. All right. I think I have another hour in me. Would be nice if this thing can actually finish loading. <clears throat> it's, okay. The loading times in this game is mixed. Sometimes it's fast, other times it's fucking slow. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure why. Come on. I don't care about the signal. Let's see, quest, hub, where's this? It looks like it's north of the Mass Bay Medical Center. Really? Okay, but before we do that, let's go to Diamond City Market. I I'll be doing that next, but of course I want to at least start to main, uh, do a little bit more of the main quest line. I only did one. <clears throat> I only went to Diamond City because I was hoping they'd be like... Uh, Merchants and stuff and there was capable of dealing a devastating amount of energy damage in a short period of time The laser guiding needs a moment to spin before it can be fired. Yeah, you have to hold L1 in the previous games, I think and it starts spinning So this is a laser rifle gun. This is like a laser gatling interesting Don't dally if you're here to be examined, let's get you examined Actually, oh my god, like it's that song from the first game. You read that article? Flame in your heart. In public occurrences? Yes. Yes. Open in the world on fire. I am going to kill you. Very quickly. If you wanted to make me a second printing press while you're at it. This is not the this is not the thing that, that gives you what you want. See this thing. Look, this is fucking awesome. Refreshing beverage. It requires one stim pack, two radaways, three purified waters, and one blood pack. But the problem is, I just want I just want something that cures fucking um, addiction. I don't really care, but like. Wow, what an idiot. The super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dream. Buy for 10% lower, sell for 10% higher. Great men tats, what the fuck? Damn. <clears throat> fuck that shit. Let's get you examined right away. No, how about you shut the fuck up? How about that? Alright, fuck this. Let's actually do this, finally. Ugh. <sighs> I put this off for a long time, and I want to at least want to get stump somewhere started. Buy a swatter, a swatter. Custom hardware. We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Right here. Scopes, clip sizes, barrel. Uh, okay. No way. That that's not. Actually, I wanted to look at something quick. I <clears> had <throat> the merchants. What? I'm busy. No loitering. Don't let the stress of life kill you. Relax with some cam. Got too much dirt in that hair? 
Swatter, swatter, who needs a swatter? If you're thinking safety, a long range rifle. I'll take a look. Sure. Self defense. Shut up. What the hell did he has? <clears throat> he has more cryogenic grenades, which is pretty cool. An extended napalmer. It's a fucking flamer. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be the um, the incinerator or the flamer. Yeah, look. Napalm. Napalm is like it's supposed to be like the napalm the napalm strike from uh, Black Ops. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Heated power fist. Oh, check this out. <clears throat> Have yet to find a power fist at all yet in this game. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, never mind. This is a pretty nice sniper. Oh my god, look at this. A hardened 44 pistol magnum. It's fucking like mysterious stranger work. Protectors, uh, oh yeah, it doesn't matter, I don't want this. Too expensive. <clears throat> Three are white rounds. Nah, fuck it. Diamond City Surplus, everything you need. Here to pick up a s pick up a shut up. All right, let me uh, heal myself a little bit. I'm gonna take uh, a Nuka Cola, then a cherry. Let's go to the detective agency and we can do this quest line finally. At least progress a little bit of it. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. What? His ties. Oh, Nick. Ellie Perkins, huh? She's cute. Kind of. I like her hairstyle. <clears throat> Something bills. wrong? Huh. Forget the bills. Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. Yes. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Nikki's missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Uh... Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Wow, I didn't get much experience because I did this way late. <laughs> Jewel of the Commonwealth. Oh, Alright. Unlikely Valentine. Find Nikki Valentine. I like that. I like that. It kind of... It a little, looks a little bit like Mysterious Stranger and, and uh, someone... <clears throat> and, uh... And an old uh, gangster thug from the 30s with the Tommy gun. <laughs> now, where do I need to go exactly? Let's look at the map. Um, not seeing anything here. Oh, there it is. Wait. Park Street Station? That's where you went to? The Boston. Co oh. Swan's Pond. Let's see. I actually want to see if I'm. I want to see his level. Now I have this perk. I want to see if his level is still higher than mine. 
I should be able to either match it or if it's level 45, oh my god, and the one I got wrecked last time. <clears throat> They made my first rose of prominence in the year 2180 when they would defend the Diamond City against a horde of super mutants attackers. Well, they came up down the... See, what they don't tell you how they solve the super mutant problem is what they do in Japanese hentai. The female just spread their legs open and they take their mutant dicks and shove it straight up their fucking ass and pussy them out at the same time. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, that's too much. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not it. I wonder, it, it, are, are people semen radiation now? <laughs> I, I know, I know, this sounds disgusting, but I'm, I'm being curious. Mikhail, who's fucking Mikhail? What the fuck is this guy? I keep seeing him before, but let's see. Fucking fifty, dude! What the fuck? Damn, he's has 135 resistance. No wonder I fucking almost couldn't kill him. I, I could fight him now though if I wanted to. But it's not worth it. Oh my god, 50 and I was like what, level 15? No, I was level 13. I got fucking majorly wrecked, dude. Yeah, it looks like I have to go this way. 50, dude. Swan is fucking beast. Oh, he went down there. Wait a second. Is, is this Vault 91? I think I heard, I think I read about it. What's this? There's an arrow marker this way. But why? Probably raiders fighting super mutants, whatever. Stay back. There's an arrow pointing that way. Uh, okay. <coughs> Someone wrote that in chalk, I guess. 